Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. So, I took a poll um, about the next readings that you guys wanted to see. I checked it the other day and it looked like um, energies and people, things around Pisces was the current winner. So, I haven't done one of these in a while. I think I might, tell me what you guys think down below. I was thinking of doing these maybe like once a week. Um, on like a regular basis just so that we kind of as a collective have a little clue of what to look into or what to be aware of in our surroundings or the people places and things around us um so i'm using the wild unknown archetype cards which are new to me um and they're very odd to shuffle <laughs> but i think they i've been reading through the book and stuff i really like them so i felt like this was a good time to to use them so let's see What's up for the Pisces Collective here? If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by, checking out that thumbnail. So I'm going to take a look at energies, please, that Pisces needs to be aware of. I usually pick two or three, whatever feels good. All right, and then we'll go through them one at a time. So we have the flame. Okay. We have the underworld and we have the tear okay let's get into it so i'm going to do a little cultic cross around this energy let's unpack what this is the flame we say Okay, now for some of you, like the flame, this could mean a romantic partner. This can also have to do with your vitality from the book. It's talking about um, when we're lit, this is a connected sense of our purpose, a sense in life that is a sacred gift. It's said that those who cannot see the sacred around them have let their inner flame go out. Think of this call as a this card is a call to reignite that fire, to cup your hands gently around those things you've forgotten to protect and protect the flame, no matter how harshly the winds around you blow. This could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick. It is likely that the poet, the mystic, or the shaman might call you with the me message of the flame. Okay, interesting. So let's take a look at what comes out in the tarot. So for some of you, this could be like the, the obvious would be a flame, right? <laughs> Someone that we're interested in. This could be talking about your own vitality. Something that's kind of showing up here. What's at the center of this? The emperor. Okay, so we could be talking about an Aries person or someone who has Aries traits. Does not, the signs are not as important as whatever the, the sort of plan is. This feels like for some of you, um, the heart of everything with this flame is the control is having some kind of control or taking control in a way. It is commanding. It's a really commanding presence. Now this could be you, Pisces, or somebody else. This is the Marchetti Tarot, if anyone is interested. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just like very drawn, this very steady, sure, like that look in his eyes is really kind of um, coming to me here. You might have an inner fire, something that is popping off for you right now, though this could be, I'm asking for the energies around you though, so this could be a flame in the sense of a person that you have a history, romantic history with doesn't have to be though we have in your sort of challenging position here is the eight of swords so it feels like for this energy there's a lot of um thinking and overthinking it's like there's a need for release from this there's something about that needs to be stoked here we've been getting the ace of wands a lot pisces and it feels like it's like that's almost like kindling is what i'm feeling where it's like taking the kindling and actually igniting whatever this fire is for you or in this person around you. This feels like it's, that's sort of a, a challenge for some reason. What's in the foundations? What are you working with here? 
Knight of Swords. Okay, so we could be having an air sign influence, possibly Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, but this feels like foundationally, the person or energy that's represented by this flame is incredibly ambitious. Very, very ambitious. A good communicator in the sense that they put it all out there. But maybe not necessarily the best diplomat like the emperor. There's a lot of... Um, I, I tend to think of the emperor sometimes as being a great diplomat, right? They have to um, consult with all of their kingdoms. They have to they have to sort of reconcile a whole lot of needs for the greater good of everything else. And it feels like this, this energy down here is very swift. It's very sure. Maybe a little, maybe a little impulsive. Let's take a look at the headspace. Page of swords, a lot of air here, right? So we have a lot of think, a lot of thinky thinky, <laughs> a lot of thoughts, a lot of curiosity too it's almost like i wonder how far i can push this thing i wonder where i can take this thing there's it's a shy energy also now page of swords can be a wonderful communicator but they are as like you see them sort of sitting here balancing that sword that's a balance of truth it's a balance of action it's something that they they don't necessarily act right away so much knowledge there could be that you and this person perhaps are checking each other out online, sort of storing energy away, little tidbits to see what is important for the future. I'll clarify in a second. Let me just get this out. Wow, more swords. Okay. I want to look at the whole thing. like very like what's at the bottom okay so nine of pentacles this person or energy this could have a lot to do with sort of um i'm wanting to say entrepreneurship ambition stability this is being very very sure and attractive this is knowing what someone is worth here let's take a look at what's happening so in the recent past, you have the two swords. So an important decision that had to be made in regards to this energy. Um, and it, it may have sort of slowed things down, right? Two of swords can be a stalemate, can be an energy that doesn't move along as quickly as we would have liked. This is the uncommon tarot, by the way, if anyone is curious. And I'm going to clarify with a lot of... It looks like someone here is sort of stepping up, coming into a sense of leadership in some way in their own life. Let me take a look at this emperor in the middle. The hanged one. Well, Pisces, <laughs> there you are. Showing up strong. I, I'm, I'm sensing like there might be... I'm going to toss reversals in this. I need more. <laughs> Um, you and this person could be linked in some way. Um, this could be a family member, friend, like I said, a lover, but there's, I'm feeling like a sense of this flame that's in the background waiting to kind of be lit. There's a sense of people who are working very diligently on themselves to become the best version of themselves, to step into this emperor energy. But there's also a sense of singlehood, in a way, with this Nine of Coins. Could be you, could be them. The Empress. Yes, see, like, there's, this feels like a divine counterpart of some kind. For some. For some it's not that deep, but for others it is. It's like this very abundant and fruitful energy. It's almost like how to behave in this connection. In that sort of... In a, in a way that shows your self-respect or in a way that this person, if this is outside of you, this could be something that they're struggling with, trying to take control in a way that honors everybody is what I'm getting here. Ten wands over the night. There's this 
something here needs to be completed. Um, now it looks like it's so there is an accomplishment in the Ten of Wands, um, something coming to a completion. Now, it feels like I'm also sensing a flightiness with this Knight of Swords, which d doesn't always happen. I mean, the swift and swiftest, swiftest <laughs> moving knight in the deck, but it seems like um, there could be something that they are, they're good at going fast. Ace of Cups in the reverse. So this feels for the page. Someone perhaps could have lost that love and feeling, or they could be concerned that somebody else has um, a sort of lack of emotion that's sort of coming in here. It's like trying to think their way through it too much. They're not tapping into their heart, whoever this is. What was up with this? This here, Seven of Wands, clarifying your Two of Swords, which feels like, I mean, deliberation, a really important decision that has to be made in the past, and it feels like there was possibly a lot of defensiveness. Um, there could have been a sense of, like, once opening, once opened up, there was almost like a, uh, like a push away, like a, pff, like, someone here really struggled on taking action with something now in the near future we have the king of wands more fire energy aries leo sagittarius but it doesn't have to be um remember folks there's billions of people in the world <laughs> so it doesn't have to be that aries or that leo or that sagittarius that you know it could be someone who's just having these qualities sort of imbued in them um but this is like a lot of this leadership this is attractive four of swords energy showing through here so a time of taking the lead but in a way that's like peaceful and restful now there could be some retreat i'm feeling or someone might need in the future to sort of take care of themselves and focus on themselves um there could be something that they are literally recovering from also in the in the near future that someone could have take the lead in their own health and wellness, take the, the lead in healing their, you know, their issues, whatever they have to be, whether it's in the mind, the spirit, the heart, like whatever. Um, that's sort of what I'm getting here. As far as your, your perspective on the situation, Pisces, we have the 10 of cups. So there's a great deal of emotional satisfaction. And also like, I feel like a great deal of love towards whatever this re represents for you this could be like i said an internal energy or an external energy or person but it's like this <laughs> it's very very um just a, a great deal of love that it's like whatever you look upon this whether it's in yourself or someone else even though there's in the mind space this over analyzation we had a lot of swords show up on the main spread so it feels like there's um, too, like so many thoughts, right? But it's like in the heart, it's like looking upon it with love. We have two versions of the Empress here with the Nine of Coins. Three of Cups, yes. Now there's a, a real desire possibly for a reconciliation or some kind of improvement. Now for some of you, it could be that this person's in your social circle. Um, it could be a good friend. This could be someone that you feel very passionate about helping, about seeing them through to like whatever their highest self is. Now, granted, it's never our responsibility to get somebody there, but like this feels really, really good. I like, oh, geez, Louise, I like it. Okay, we have around you in the environment or around the energy here of this flame, we have the Knight of Cups. So... I feel like the people around this situation, around this person, this energy, there's a perception of it being very, very devoted to something, very loving. For some, if this is a love connection, it, it's the kind of connection where it's like obvious to everyone, where it's kind of like, what, well, yeah, you know? <laughs> Have you ever seen those uh, those kind of things play out in your social circle where like two people are into each other um, either in a friendship way or in like a romantic way and you're just like it's so obvious to everybody that there's a click that there's something there there's something sparky and fun and good 
and it's like the world kind of disappears a little bit when this comes together connected is what I'm sensing. Oh, but we have two cups in the reverse. Hmm. So this could be a Leo person or a Leo energy. We have a lion kind of hanging out at the bottom of the card here. So there's a bit of disharmony. Now there might be that there's other relationships that are sort of not harmonious with whatever this is here. There could be a sense of someone not being aligned properly with themselves or their purpose or some expectations. I'm getting almost like a projection of like that person's like naive, like they might be dealing with uh, people around them, giving that kind of feedback. In hopes and dreams, there's the Ten of Swords. So, like, or hopes and fears, sorry. <laughs> hopes and dreams, huh? Ten of Swords. So, there's a lot of fear of the, whatever this is of ending, but I mean, why wouldn't there be? It's such a spark. It's so sparky and so loving. And it's like this person is, I feel like there's a possibly a fear of detachment, a fear of like just sort of a thing where they're like watching quietly, afraid that the, the potential is gone, that it's a lost opportunity for love or for friendship or whatever it happens to be. Now, there's with this nine of coins, it's showing up in this very strong position of um, independence, right? So I feel like however this works out for whatever Pisces this is for, um, you're going to be just fine, the alchemist. Okay, so could be Sagittarian energy here, um, but this is that balance, right? It's like the desire to bring things into peaceful coexistence, into compromising, into making the best of whatever this is here. A great deal of patience required. A great deal of patience. I'm really drawn to how, like... Those look sort of like snail shells that she's using to mix the water with. And it feels very symbolic to me of like it's taking some time. It's a slow transition for whoever this is. Very optimistic, but like a big fear of things being over and of there being a pain that's there. Now, of course, only take it if it resonates, right? Any reading that's on the internet, they're general, okay? So don't try to force it to fit. If you, if you feel in your gut like this makes sense for you, then great. If not, just let it go. In the outcome, we have the chariot. So cancer, sign, energy. This is taking the lead in something and going on faith and moving forward. So for some, that could mean out and away from this if the transition is taking too long. Um, you're going to do whatever's best for you, right? For others, this feels like a, a moving forward, possibly even moving towards. Um, but let's take a look. Why is the chariot here? Eight of wands. Yeah, swift movement. So for some of you, this could be like moving place, moving, uh, having communication come in, and then things just kind of start going in a different kind of way. But this feels like for some of you, possibly a fire sign or someone who has fiery qualities or placements in their chart in some some way is really really working on themselves and they're slowly elevating and it looks like it came out of a time where they were in some some deep deliberation here it's two of wands at the bottom of the deck so planning phase lots of thoughts but it looks like the outcome is movement. It feels like it's probably at a standstill at the moment is what I'm getting from it, where there's a lot of contemplation, a lot of like mental work that's being done. And I feel like Pisces, you're looking on it in a very sort of loving context, but ultimately going to choose what is best for you. That feels like that's you there. Okay, I'm going to pause and do the next one. Okay, so the next energy that we're looking at that's around Pisces that you need to be aware of, we have the tear. Um, this is something that needs to be released or someone who has something that very well needs to be released. 
it's a flow. Like, I don't know if it's an ugly cry that needs to happen or if there's someone in your life who's avoiding a mourning or a grief period. This could be energies within ourselves as well. Um, but we're going to dig in and take a look. It says it's a... I glanced at the book there. And it said it's all just about, like, mourning, release, grief. Um, but it's it's more like coming from the point of a block, right? Where it's like not accepting something or not moving through something. So there could be someone in your life who you have recognized or is influencing you in some way where you can tell that they're not accepting their emotions. Um, this would be someone who might be hiding from them a little bit or who might be a little scared of going as deep as they need to, to do the work. Um, to get there to let something go once it's acknowledged we have the three of cups in the center of the situation so it feels like this could very well be someone who's in your social circle this can also be a card to me of celebrations of of siblings brotherhood sisterhood friendship that kind of thing it's a really beautiful kind of energy I like, quite like the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm going to lay them out. We have the Hierophant here, so some Taurus energy, though that doesn't have to be significant. Take it if it is. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Now, with this Hierophant being a block, it feels like for some there's an issue of, like, someone doesn't like to play by the rules is kind of what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. We have page of coins at the bottom of the deck. Could be a child involved or it could very well just be that this person could be earth sign energy. Um, but it feels like it's a, a lot of potential, a great start, some focus to try and be um, like to try and be productive, to try and be meaningful and helpful to the people and places and things around them. So you guys don't know if you saw that my contact just like fell out <laughs> onto this card. So I had to go put a different one in. Okay. So there's, yeah, really wanting to be a practical good support. Now this person could also have some sort of um, ties to things like religion or higher. Like I'm getting a sense of like being controlled by outside influences or being controlled in a way that's sort of like by, for some reason, status quo or norms it's like this person might be held back in some way by expectations of the people around them it could be a traditional environment could have to do with religion but it also could just be that they've absorbed like the society around them and they're having issues um sort of standing out for some reason in some way let's see okay so we got the sun okay so there's with this sense of there being community, with there being possibly a um, great a desire for reconciliation and a desire for coming together with people, we have the sun in the reverse. Which, I mean, if we're over the tier, this could be someone who's dealing with low mood. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not about to start, you know, saying medical terms because that's not what I do here. I'm a card reader. But this could be someone who you've noticed is... You know, there's a, an energy around them that feels like it wants to lovingly bring them back to the, the people, places, and things that will heal, right? And there could be that there's been, um, it's to do with, I'm, I'm thinking a particular sadness or transition that may have happened for this person. Um, we have the Queen of Coins down here with the Hierophant, which could very well be a, an earth sign. This feels like there's a disconnection or a worry. There, this could be someone who's very concerned about keeping everything um, stable, right? Wanting to take care of their home life, wanting to nurture the people around them. They could have family responsibilities or things that they're trying to work through here. Um, it's almost like they're kind of afraid of how they're going to look if they... If they don't do it the right way is kind of what I'm getting here. In the foundations, we have the two of wands. What they're working with is this is a lot of plans, right? And it is a bit of waiting. 
it feels like either choice, whichever way they go, um, the path will reveal itself, right? There's a, there's a certain path with both sun energy and with moon energy. I'm wanting to say for some that they have a choice. This could be that there's a, ne a necessary mindset shift. Um, it kind of reminds me of that, that saying, like whether you think you can or that you cannot, either way you're right. If, if you tell yourself those things. So it feels like this is, could be someone who's struggling in on, on like a bit of an existential level of just like trying to shift back into some um, action oriented kind of living. Nine of coins, right. So again, with the stability, with abundance, we have a lot of earthy energy here. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person or someone who has those influences in their chart. But the someone who I feel like maybe is trying to handle everything on their own. Um, it feels like they might be pretty well established on their own. Um, maybe they're having a little trouble moving into this queen of, of coins area, or there could be a person who represents that to them who's, who's representing some kind of challenge with the Hierophant here. That's also Taurus energy. So we've got a lot of earthy kind of tones in this. I'm... This person, I feel, or this energy, it seems like it's struggling to... They've been independent either for a very long time or they've be been become very good at it, I think. And it's very difficult um, for some reason to make a decision to shift out of that. I feel like that's why this Two of Wands is here. Um, in the recent past, we have the Magician, so Aries energy for me as a reader. Um, but doesn't have to be, but this is that time of focus. It feels like in the past they were very, very focused on a particular goal. Um, it's a sort of alchemistic blending of things. It's taking all of their best qualities and putting their best foot forward. It's that manifestation energy, right? Hmm. Why did we get two? Three of cups and two of cups. Okay. So for some, this could have to do, I mean, we're starting to get a bunch of cups here and we have a, a few other sort of love cards. For some here, this could have been a romantic connection. This could have been that they manifested something into their life and it was a great cause for celebration, for family, for friendship. It could very well be... Mm, okay. For some, I got the word like the magician. I wasn't really using reversals in the main deck to put them down. The magician can sometimes give me the word trickster. Okay. So this could have been someone who did some tricky stuff here and caused themselves some grief. But it feels like there was genuine connection if that's for you, not that's not necessarily for the whole reading, but if that details for you, it feels like there was still genuine connection, but possibly just a lot of immaturity with this page here. A lot of immaturity. Um, for others, I feel like this is like pulling a lot of love and friendship and abundance. And this, it feels like this person was the type of person who walks through a room and you're just like, whoa, who's that? <laughs> like they have a lot of magnetic kind of energy to them the alchemist with the two of cups so in the near future these are both cards that have to do with harmony and balance these are both cards sagittarian energy here with the two of cups could be a match in love for some this person is this person is kind of figuring it out they're getting in line with their best and moral self eventually. Now, I'm getting very drawn to how our, our archetype was the tear, right? A release that needs to happen. And there's this reversed sun sitting right over them with this three of cups. And it's like this, this person, this energy, whatever it is, whether it's you or someone else, Pisces, it's this need to let it flow, to get back into the flow of things. If you see here how they're pouring the water between the two vessels. There's something there that needs to flow and get out. Sort of get out of this person. It looks like with your your 
your perspective on the situation is how I'm looking at this position here, Pisces, and that's the Ace of Wands. Now, inspiration, um, I feel like you may also see this person as being uh, sort of their passions um, being very pants-focused <laughs> is what I'm wanting to say. <laughs> um, I feel like this person's kind of a hot, hot tamale, shall we say. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So in the mind space, we also have the death card with the knight of swords. <sighs> Someone's trying to move their transition. I mean, Scorpio energy and air sign energy. It feels like they're trying to move through their transition really quickly. It's like someone thinking that they can just barge through it. They're like, all right, so I just do the thing. I do the stuff and then it's, I can, you know, I can, I can move through it really, really fast. I can, I can make this happen. Like, yep. Okay. I think they're, they're understanding that they're going through a transition, that it might even be a, a large life cycle change, but I'm getting a sense of them really, really thinking that they can go through it super swiftly. They're just, Knight of Swords can be my, my card of like, when you wake up in the morning and you're like, okay, it looks like I'm, all, I'm a CrossFitter. Now I'm doing CrossFit. I'm also a raw vegan and I'm doing, you know, I'm just like tearing down my life. I'm going to start buying stocks. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing whatever. Like I feel like this person has that kind of drive. Um, very, very passionate energy here. Eight of Cups, yes. See, that makes sense. I feel like the way that you are seeing this person here with the Eight of Cups being in reverse is that you can see them being all passion, all spice, all fire, all like blood pumping and whatever as, as a way almost of avoiding their emotions of being scared of moving on, being scared of the change that's going to come if they really sort of embrace whatever this transition is here in the energies around them we have the queen of cups now pisces this could be you um being of uh, an important influence to this person or energy it's very loving it's very nurturing um <sighs> mm -hmm, seven of wands but defensive I don't feel like it's bad defensive, though, with the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. I think there's, if you're sensing Pisces, because your intuition is very good a lot of the time, right? Um, I feel like, especially if you're seeing this, you're seeing they're sort of blood pumping and they're moving towards things and they're saying, oh, I can just get through this, but they're not tapping into their feelings. They're not letting them feel that themselves feel whatever sadness or self-reflection, whether it's positive or negative, like, you know what I mean? Like whatever they have to do to dig in to release whatever they need to, to properly go through this death cycle here is like, it feels like you're you're possibly just kind of distancing yourself a little bit or you're just like, okay, you need to go do that. And I, I'm here and it's almost like I'm getting this acceptance of like, if you're here later, great. <laughs> I wish you nothing but the best, my love. But at the same time, like, oof, spicy, spicy stuff. For some of you, it's a passionate thing. For others, it's like a friend, someone who you see kind of... um. Like I said, they're a very magnetic kind of energy that I'm getting here. In hopes and fears, we have the emperor, which, I mean, this is like hoping this person really wants to come out in a sense of having like t like control over the situation. They're the big boss. They run it, and they're good. Um, but there's a... I think they just don't get it. Yeah, four of swords. I feel like they're scared, right? There's this sense of them being very, very scared to delve into whatever they have to to fully heal. And they're just like, oh, this, these are both fours, right? But it's like their hope is to just, they're going to run it like a boss. Like, I'm going to move through whatever this was, whether it was a change in their family with the Three of Cups here over this tier and the Sun in reverse like perhaps a loss of some kind, a change in their, their family or social situation or in their love situation or whatever that happened to be that brought sadness and it feels like they're just trying to barrel through it. So there's a real need that I feel like you can see here, Pisces, of a need for rest, for, for hope, for reflection, right? 
Um, in the outcome for this person, we have the Page of Cups. So there could be uh, something that I'm, I want to say, something that they really need to apologize for. This could be to other people or themselves. I feel like this very sheepish energy here. What is that? That's the fool in reverse. The wanderer. I like that. I think this person is going to end up apologizing for being reckless. I think that they leapt before they looked and they're trying to muscle their way through whatever this emotional transition is. And I think in the future, how far off the outcome is, we don't know, right? But I think they're eventually apologizing for being so, so reckless. And now apologies don't need to, you know, we don't need to, we can accept apologies, but not accept the person back into our life. I know I've had to do that countless times. Thank you very much for sharing that. Just not interested in being friends, not interested, right? <laughs> Whatever it is. Um, what's down here? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person could have had been playing some games with people, had a lot of sort of misdirected, passionate energy. And also a bit of a temper, I'm feeling. Like we have a couple temper cards here, so I'm feeling a bit of that here. Um, yeah. I hope this was helpful, Pisces. I'm going to pause and do the next one. Okay, guys. So I paused to read this because it's a huge deck and I'm learning them. This is the underworld is the last one that we got here. So listen to this. It says, this is no time to mince worlds. Mince words. The archetypal territory of the underworld is fraught with nightmares, suffering, and pain. It is the darkest shadow realm which we try vigilantly to avoid or deny at all costs. Try as we might, the darkness pulls us into its depths through disturbing dream images, unexpected accidents, illness, war, conflict, and ultimately death. Not visiting the underworld, though, or denying its existence altogether is what gives it its dangerous power. Traversing it forces us to bow humbly to the greater forces that be while summoning the inner strength we previously underestimated. Take solace that the underworld subsumes everyone from time to time, making us deeper friends, more intimate partners, soldiers of light amid our shadowy times. Facing darkness and choosing light is the most profound calling of all. Okay, so there could be an energy around Pisces, a person... It could be within ourselves also, where it's having the bravery and the depth to face our deepest fears. When dark, it's denial, suppression, evil in the unconscious. Okay, let's take a look. So this feels like for some, this could be a sense around you this could be a person you're seeing going through that I'm wanting to say, I won't be surprised if the hermit shows up, right? That dark night of the soul kind of energy. We have the seven of swords. So there's a deception that's at the heart of this. And things really slowing down. Not a lot of action being taken. Falling into some anxiety. Okay, this is good. I just want to see it. Whoever this is in your life or in energies around you here, Pisces, I just keep getting like the wheel came out and I was like, yeah, it's time. It feels like it's time. For someone, okay, good. I like this. Knight of Wands, we have some fire sign energy at the bottom of the deck. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag. There's possibly, with the theme of this card, feeling like some self-deception, um, either on the part of this person. It could be even in a social group. It could be a sort of sense around you that 
there's a dishonesty, a turning a blind eye to the bad. Um, not just the bad, but like the, the normal human darkness that can exist. And it's like it said, it's like the, the times when we go to the underworld, the times when we seek to make sort of, I'm not sure if it's amends or what we seek to figure out what's going on there, to really look at it honestly, or the times when we become better friends, better parents, better lovers, better versions of ourselves with the nine of coins, like the highest potential outcome. But the foundation is rooted in fear and anxiety with the nine of swords here. Two nines, top and bottom, right? It's kind of like what can be what can be at its best and what it is sort of at its worst in a way, right? Like this nine of coins is making me feel like this person or this energy. For some, it's like someone who's really willing to tackle it, though. It's like they're passionately, they're possibly able to really go into it. Let's take a look and I'll clarify. I think I've, when I've done these readings from the other deck, we kept getting an energy called the Destroyer. And this is reminding me of that. Not exactly the same, yeah. This feels like this person, we have the Page of Wands coming out in the middle here. So it's almost like they're not letting themselves see this dip into their shadow side, I want to say as an adventure and an opportunity, okay? Like there's an issue with that. And because of that, it feels like it's blocking them from forward movement, mm -hmm, the high priestess. So like their intuition is not firing here, Pisces. This could be you, this could be somebody else, but it feels like they're, they're not, they've lost their inner vision. They've lost sort of like their inner sight. And there's like a, there's just don't want to see this like is what I'm getting. I keep getting this sense of almost like, don't look at me, right? Like I don't want to see it. Um, but their, if their intuition, if they listened to it would guide them to like, look, you have to look at this stuff. You have to look at this stuff. If you're going to make, you're going to reconcile who you think you are and your expectations of the world and all that stuff, you need to see it. And it's just part of the journey, right? The night, the page of wands goes out on their journey, um, not knowing what the outcome is going to be. Um, why the anxiety? Ten of wands, right? Oh, goodness. They carry these burdens that are unnecessary, but it really wants to be released here. For some reason, I'm wanting to say toxic positivity. This could be someone who maybe is getting started in spiritualism um, or this sort of spiritual side of things here. And they could be completely, they, they might be in that nonstop love and light kind of stuff and not, which isn't to say that love and light is bad. It's absolutely wonderful. It's necessary, but it doesn't exist without its counter. Everything in nature has a counter. Everything has a cycle. Everything has a balance, right? If the world operated with the sun on full blast every day all the time, it wouldn't function properly. We need the night. We need the dark. We need the uncertainty sometimes to help us complete what we need to. And I'm not sure if they are seeing that. What's up with the Ten of Coins? Oh, there they are. We got the hermit. They came out in the reverse over this um, nine of coins. So I'm feeling like for some, it's like this person is in their mind space, holding themselves in this sense of nine of pentacles, of being the an attractive higher version of themselves, of knowing what they want and what they need to do. But there's, this, there's something that's not quite right. It feels like they're not... Um, looking at what they need to and it's almost like making them feel more lonely than they have to yeah two of wands they're waiting for something here what and now it's not taking enough time but they're needing to like the delay that's that's happening here with this eight of wands in reverse is that they need to release themselves from whatever mental i'm feeling like it's assumptions 
it's like it's assumptions. It's like an assumption of like if I walk around grinning like an idiot all the time, 24-7, and deny the darker parts of myself, that, you know, that's the best way to go. Now, that doesn't mean that we stay there, right? Like, staying in shadow, <laughs> in dark night of the soul isn't necessarily helpful. I'm actually not a, a huge fan of it at all. Um, but this feels like there's, it's gone, it's actually isolating them, I think. It's actually isolating them, I think, because I think it makes them unrelatable, is what I'm getting. Because it seems like the things that they end up saying and doing don't ring with, like, relatability. Because it's like it's all light all the time, and they're denying that, that part. In the recent past, we have the sun. There could, this person could be a Leo, or it could be that they, at one point, felt like they knew how it all worked, you know? They knew how it all worked. They had clarity. They understood. Um, mm -hmm. And then the moon. <laughs> how perfect. Like seriously, tarot sometimes blows my mind when this stuff comes out together. So it's like moving from that period of clarity and understanding. And then they came into a period of time when it's unsure, where they're not certain, where it's not as clear as it once was. Could be some Pisces or Cancer energy. This has a crab on it, so there could also be some Cancer influence there. But it's like, oh, I really thought I knew. And they're not understanding the mix yet, is what I'm getting here. We have the Three of Cups in the near future with the Two of Swords. So it feels like there is almost like a community that's waiting to welcome them back. It's a to do, you know, bring them into the fold in a way. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of stalemate, a little bit of resistance on their part. Because it's like, it feels like it's a fear of commitment almost in a way. It's like, come on, it's okay. Everybody has to do this stuff and you'll end up in a much happier place. Um, sorry, my battery's running low. That's why my light turned off. So they might be a little bit darker to look at. Um, but yeah, it's like there's a little bit of resistance there. Now, it feels like that energy is, I mean, they can't escape it because they have the wheel here. The King of Swords here, I'm taking this as Pisces, your, your, your view of the situation. And I think it's like you in your mind space can see very clearly, very logically um, what's happening here, right? It's a lot of, uh, in your mind, I feel like it's almost like a victory. Like you see that they can ascend in a, in a better way than what they're doing. Ace of Wands. Yes. Okay. It's an opportunity for a new beginning to learn something new, to bring a lot of passion into things for themselves. Um, and if this is you Pisces, then it feels like, you know, there's a, a logical part that's coming in. It's like the that is, you could have someone of, of who's like an expert or who's giving you good counsel, um, who's able to sort of help you break down the thoughts. And that could be something that this person might need as well. Um, but it's, it just feels like there's something, such an opportunity, right, for inspiration from this, it feels like. Um, in their environment, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which to me is just like, hey, baby, it's fate. Like you have, everybody has to go through something like this at some point. Mm -hmm. The wise one, the hierophant in the reverse. Interesting. What aren't they allowing themselves to see? It's almost like it's part of their path because the, the wise one, this is the hierophant, can deal with spiritual lessons, spiritual awakenings, all of those kinds of things. Um, religion, large, like, corporations. But it can also, because it, it's those norms, right? And it feels like it's almost like this person's destiny to buck those norms. Um, it's, it's a part of something that they, it's a change. There's things around them are changing and things are becoming less and less normal all the time. And it's part of what they're supposed to go through as well. We have in hopes and fears the ace of coins, so beautiful possible new um, new beginning <laughs> in possibly work or finance or even like long term your relationships in the three D with friendships. It's a lot of like so much beautiful potential there, and the page of cups, 
gorgeous. I like it. I won't show this. Okay, I won't hold this one up too close because it's got nipples. <laughs> and we all know how Mark Zuckerberg feels about nipples. Um, but yeah, Page of Cups is... so much like opportunity for love for self-love for getting in there but it's kind of scary right i feel like this is a sense of someone being a little scared to listen to their intuition a little scared to like decipher what all of the stuff means yeah in the outcome we have the seven of pentacles which i quite like actually now this is like hard work it's, it's putting in the energy that is needed to collect the harvest. So it feels like ultimately the choice will be to go towards this, to go towards doing the work, doing the dark night of the soul stuff. Oh, okay. Ten of cups in the reverse. This is like... Hmm. Am I taking it? Okay, so we got Justice, Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah. You've got three sevens here. Seven, seven, seven. Going in and doing the work is going to be accepting that whatever their initial assumption or dream is, isn't necessarily going to come to fruition with this Ten of Cups. And it's going to feel probably very unfair and confusing. And there's something here that they've been doing that's almost like a distraction from accepting it. Hmm. Give me something else on that. I'm very intrigued with this. Five wands. So accepting differences. Okay, good. King of wands. Ace of coins. Why? Ace of swords. Okay. So there could be an, an opportunity that they now... There's like take accepting of differences, deciding to put things aside and take some leadership on things, which is good. But they could potentially miss an opportunity because they're not willing to look at the truth of a situation. Okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Pisces, that's what I got here. Um, I hope that this was interesting or helpful to you in some way. Um, hit the like button if you liked this kind of reading. Let me know down below, like I asked about, um, if you'd like to see these. I'm thinking of doing them maybe like once a week, picking a day of the week and having that be the day that we do this kind of thing. Um, so just let me know what you think about that. Um, I lo Lots of love to all of you. Thank you so much for coming by. My members, my people who donate, your kind and incredibly supportive comments. The summer was bonkers for me. It was so trying. Um, and I'm so happy to be back posting for you guys. So I really hope that you enjoy this as much as it's enjoyable for me. Um, yeah, lots of love, everybody. Okay, take care of yourselves. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.